Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, we've just done this question, question number three. We're hoping we got it all wrong, but it's very possible that we messed up. And the way to check this, guys, is to calculate the VA everywhere, all right, on this circuit. Now, you'll notice that the question doesn't ask for the VA. Well, you need to check it because if you don't check it, you won't know whether you've made a mistake or not. Because the VA of this entire circuit, guys, is being determined by the load. The transformer doesn't change the VA, okay? The transformer just changes the voltage and the current, but it does not change the power. The power of this circuit is being determined by this. The transformer is just changing the voltage, but the VA of this primary, the VA of the secondary, and the VA of the load are all going to be the same. So when you do these ones, and more specifically when you do it on the test, you must calculate the VA and where should you calculate the VA? Freaking everywhere. All right, guys? And so you're going to calculate the VA at the primary. You're going to calculate the VA at the secondary. Okay? And you're going to calculate the VA at the load. Now, how should you calculate it? Because you have two different, circuit, two different um, formulas for VA. One uses line values and one uses phase values right? Well, I'm going to tell you that you should use the line voltage and line current times root 3 for the primary. The line voltage times the line current times root 3 for the secondary. And the phase voltage times the, whoops, the phase current times 3. That's supposed to be an I, okay? For the load and I'm going to tell you why if you calculate the line current if you're using the V line values for the VA on the primary you are going to use you know the number that was given to you in the question here guys 208 okay is going to be the line voltage for the primary and you're also going to use the very last thing you calculated right there okay so you're going to use the first thing you knew and the very last current you calculated to calculate the VA of the primary. And so that way you're not like missing. If you use phase values, you know, you'd be using this one, which is your first calculation and the second last thing you calculated. Okay. And so you would still miss, you know, this calculation and that calculation. Okay. So let's just do it guys. It's going to be 208 times 67.55 times root three. Okay, and that'll be the VA of the primary. So here we go, 208 times 67.55 times root three. And we must use root three since we're using line values, okay? And according to this, the VA of this particular circuit, 24336 volt amps. Okay, guys, and that's at the primary. Let's check it at the secondary, same way. Okay, with line values. So E line secondary, guys, it's right here. Okay, and there's I line secondary 180 times 78 times root 3. Let's check it 180 times 78 times root 3 equals 24318 volt amps okay notice that they are the same and they're not quite the same but that's just rounding okay you don't have to worry about that 24,003 you know 24.3 kva basically for both of them all right guys so so far so good we're going to check it at the load now at the load i want to use phase values so here just to make your life happy we use these two values to calculate the primary okay we use these two values here to calculate the secondary line values okay and we're going to use these values here to calculate the VA at the load now here it is whoops E phase load 180.1 I phase load 45 times 3 since we're using phase values okay so let's try that 180.1 times 45 times 3 24,313 24,313 VA all right now I want you to know 
that notice, okay, that these are all the same. All right, guys? And that means that it is very likely that I did not make a mistake. All right, guys? Because if I would have made a mistake here and divided by root 3, I'd be at, you know, 208 divided by root 3. It'd be 120 here, okay? And so this would be off by a lot, okay? And this would be off, 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 off. Everything would be off by a lot. And you will have one, at least one of these VAs would be off by a mile, okay? You're... You know, some students say, well, it's rounding. You know, is this rounding or is it, did I make a mistake? If you're, if you made a root three error, guys, you'll have one of these first significant digits here wrong. Okay. This will be a three or this will be a one. All right. Instead of a two, it'll be way off. If you make a root three off, basically it'll be off by 1.73. All right. So almost two. Now, you know, should you do this guys? Uh, yes you should do this okay because i got a little heads up for you this next test guys there's going to be no part marks okay it's going to either be white right or wrong and the reason i'm going to do it that way guys and i always do it that way with this test is because i have shown you how to check your work and if you're too lazy to do this check and you hand in your test and i mark it and i see that you made a mistake and everything after that's wrong i'm just going to mark it all wrong Okay, because you could have checked it and you didn't. All right, guys. So on your homework, guys, and on the review and on the test, I demand, all right, <laughs> that you calculate the VA here, here, and here. Now you must use, you must, okay, because students say, well, I only check it in two places or I check it with the phase value everywhere or I check it with the line values everywhere no okay you know there's always the Van Andel way and then there's other ways and I usually say well if you have another way guys and it's working for you then go for it I don't care okay this is the one time where I want you to do it the Van Andel way okay and the Van Andel way is line values to calculate the VA in the primary line values to calculate the VA at the secondary phase values to calculate the VA at the load and why don't you use line values at the load well if you use line values at the load, you'll be using these numbers right here, okay? Because the line values coming out of this transformer are the line values going into this load. So if you use line values everywhere, you'll just be recalculating it. You know, this last calculation will be the same numbers, okay? You'll be another recalculation of the same numbers, okay? So I want you to do it exactly this way when you're starting your, when you're doing your homework. And by the way, guys, these circuits don't get easier, right? They get a little bit harder, all right? And so if you start now calculating the VA, if you get the same VA in all three times, it is very, very likely that you did all your root threes correctly. All right, guys? Now, having said all that, there are a couple of things that this calculation will not catch. Okay, and I'm just going to point that out to you so that you're extra careful. It only catches root 3 errors. Okay, if you multiply by root 3 instead of divide by root 3 somewhere along the line, okay, that'll catch that. It'll be way off. Okay, and what do you do when it's way off, guys? Let me give you a heads up. Just freaking start over. All right, get a new sheet of paper out and start again. Because to try to look through it and try to figure out where you went wrong, you're just going to, you know, your mind's going to explode. All right, guys, so what I want you to do is if you notice your three VAs aren't the same, okay, and you could have two of the same and one different, it means there's something wrong. And you won't be able to tell where you made the mistake by seeing which one's different, okay? You're not going to be able to know. Get your fat eraser out, okay? Erase every single thing. Start calculating fresh right from the beginning. Try it again. Calculate your three VAs. And don't hand in your test until those three things are the same or you run out of time. Okay, guys. All right. So what doesn't it catch? Basically, it doesn't catch the uh, Ohm's law that you applied right here. Okay. When you calculated this voltage here and divided it by, you know, four and got your 45 amps, you went from E phase load to I phase load. If you apply Ohm's law wrong there and get the wrong current here and then calculate it all the way back correctly, okay, your VAs are going to work out even though all your currents are wrong. All right, guys, so be really careful when you're calculating what's going on at the load because really this only checks root three. 
errors. Okay. The other thing it doesn't check is uh, the ratio. If you apply the wrong ratio, let's say the last question was four to one, and now you're doing this question and it's two to one and you didn't notice. Okay. And so you went bip, four to one all the way across, bip, four to one back. Okay. All your answers, all your answers are going to be wrong. Okay. But, uh, out here because the ratio was wrong and your VAs are going to work out, right? Because this doesn't check to make sure you apply the right ratio. It's only checking root three. All right, guys. So I know, I know. Terrible. Okay. Try your homework. Unit four, hand out two, and unit four, hand out three. Calculate the VA three times for every single question. All right. Come to the Zoom meeting if you have any uh, issues or questions about your homework. All right, guys. Have a good one.